Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nog, welcome along to the stream. Hope you're well, it is Tuesday night. And after a bit of a hiatus, we are back with some black hole. Um, yeah, I apologise for like the delay in getting back to black hole. Um, main reason for that is I have been busy um, trying to finish off in Factory. And put that to bed, which we have now done. So... That's uh, pretty cool. Pretty awesome. All right. Uh, so yeah, we're going to pick up where we left off. Later on, I'm hoping to go some um, Portal 2 Chapter 3 speedrunning. Um, I'm working on Chapter 3 at the moment. So depending on how well this goes um, will depend on what time we kind of get around to that. But um, So, um, last time out, although it was was a while ago, which I'd like I say, I do apologise for. It's getting really loose, I need to tighten that up. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so um, last time out we got to... I don't remember the controls. All the controls again. There we go, let's jump. I think it's just jump really that I want, isn't it? That's it. Okay, so last time out, we got actually to um, this area where we now have the ability to use electricity. And this is the bit from the the demo that I actually remember. I remember having like this electronic ability. So this some, se some sections of this may or may not be kind of like a blind run kind of thing, but uh, we'll see how we get, how well we do. Okay, so I've got to remember how to. Yeah, so we just activate it. Cool. Is that some poor old cake was a lie in there? Interesting. It looks like, like some kind Ooh. of a, like it was a library. This is a library. Well, that means there's civilized life somewhere close. More like there was. They probably didn't have such technology as we do, so they didn't survive the flight through the black hole. You mean plastic bags? Uh, enough of these jokes. Watch your steps. Find more self burns. Stick to the missions, and I'll examine this gigantic generator. It's got to hold a secret of infinite energy, or or something like that. So what are the self can I not get those self burns? I guess not. I've got an idea. We could connect this generator to the ship's battery. That way we can charge the main unit again and get on board. It'd be great to have a place to sleep. Okay, starting point. I'm not bringing up the death counter. I've decided against it. So that's temporary, so. Oh. Okay, so that's Greenfield. Okay, so we have Greenfield there. Let's change that around. I can't climb up there. So, let's think about this. If we change this... Okay, I think that's possibly what we need to do. There we go. Then how would we get this one? Is the question. This is nothing really that can kill me on this level. I quite like this level. The game needs more of these levels, or I can't die.
Unless I can do something with, like, rotating the room. Give myself an extra boost of height, possibly. Possibly. Hmm. I'm not sure it's going to give me enough height there. That's the problem. Oh, okay. So maybe I slide down here and then jump. Huh. I'm not sure on the concept. Yeah. Got to move fast. Ah, that's not fast enough. Jump too early. Too early. So if I slid down here, that's still not enough though. Timing is tight. Really got to go for it. Walls cannot be grabbed. if there's like another way around here at all but I'm not seeing it yeah I'm not, I'm not seeing how to get this one because even if this was I was like stood on here I don't think there's still enough not there's still not enough to jump mm. it could be enough but I don't see how to get through here in time I can do something else with these. Okay, that's interesting. doing anything there, is it? I can't get I can't get a wall jump there either. Ah. 
Alright, so let's just try and get this one in like a decent time. And maybe we'll come back to this. Maybe we'll come back to this one at a later date. Because I honestly, I don't know how else to do this. Unfortunately. It's unfortunate. It may come back to a case that we're going to have to come back to some of these anyway in the future. Watch if we don't get enough self burns. This kind of a laser is dangerous. I will protect you, but try to avoid its beams. Ooh. Wow, okay. Uh. Rip. Alright, so I can get in here. Jeez. Oh, okay, I need to move across a bit more. Got this. Oh, I need to actually jump up onto the ledge. Hold onto the ledge. to get me there. Seriously. I'm undercover. the escape route. I need to work out the escape route. Pretty quickish as well though. May I add. Chunsa, I gotta hit that. What does this one do? Kill me. I think it goes forwards and then it goes backwards, right? Alright, so I gotta do this one in one foul swoop. this and I'm gonna go back. Okay, so I've got, to, I've got to wait for it to move first. And then we race against it back. Well, that doesn't make sense. Why would I do that? This one.
I clearly can't jump over it. There's nowhere for me to hide on this side either. This isn't one that I played on the demo. I don't know how I would get that one on this side. Alright, unless I'm going to do something with this. That won't work because of that. There's nowhere else to turn the orientation. I won't let you die. Maybe let it come back, see if that gives us anything different. get up there. Oh, self burns are awesome. They repair, charge, adapt to everything you need. I wonder what the downside of using them is. Do they enjoy it? Do they want anything in return or why? This generator contains so much self-burnium that if we took it apart and opened the container, it'd tear us to pieces. Totally. Just imagine it. Our bodies all around this place. Up there, down there, left and right, there, and there too, and also here. Oh yeah, that sounds fantastic. Alright, laser door. Let's have a look at this one. Jeez. Okay, it's so got to do this. Jump up through here, run across here, switch the. Try, I don't know, thinking about where you jump, okay? Thanks. Alright, so I think I've got to. Okay. But I've got to land on that surface on the other side. Oh man. It's not a, it's not I thought that was like an ice ledge. It looks like it's a mirror ledge actually. Great, so you pressed a button. Congratulations. But what does the button do?
Ah. What's going on, Boston? How you doing, buddy? How's your stream break treating you? And more importantly, how is Mrs. Waffro doing? With that little Waffro of yours. <sighs> Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Straight into the laser. That's where we go. It's gonna be a boy. Uh, what's that make? Three boys for you? Nice. Was she was she hoping for another boy or was she hoping for a girl this time? <laughs> yeah, that's the joy. <sighs> That's the joy of, uh... Oh, I got walk through the laser. We didn't quite have that luxury the second time around. But, um... It's all good fun. It's all good fun. So... How do I do this? You see, that is there, isn't it? Okay. So if I turn that off, it does the same thing. Okay, but what if I was to do... Okay, maybe I can ride that up the top to flip the gravity. I'm crushing myself, yeah. That's not a clever idea, is it? I don't know what else I can do. Ugh, jump, please. So I stand right in the path of the laser. GG. So I can't reach that from the floor. Ow! Um, you see, when I try and jump from on the wall of that platform there, I just get far too much height, and it's rinsing me every time. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> and then when I do it, I wasn't ready for it, of course. Because, you know, game logic. <sighs> so I don't know how I'm meant to get past these ones. meant to get past it's missed it missed it again oh oh jeez <laughs> now I can't hit it for toffee oh I can jump up here well that would have been nice to know a little while ago that's for sure Would have been very nice to know. So the only way I can see to get the other one is I would need to flip flip the map 180. I don't see how. It's not an easy feat. So the only, okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Where is the start point? Let's save it for now. Grace, you pressed a button. Congratulations. Alright, sarcasm. Ooh, that was close. I think that's what I gotta do. So I've gotta ride that up. 
ride it up, and then at the last minute, jump off and walk to the left. It's very dodge. Ah, missed it. Really? That laser didn't see me. There's no way. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So that's all well and good. But that's going to crush me. So I'm thinking... What does this button do here? Oh, get down! Get down. I can't do that. What does that button do? I mean, it does something with the circuits, but I don't really know... I don't really know what that affects. There's no real tutorial or anything for this segment. As of yet. Okay, so we do that, we do that. Hey, I shorted it out. Fantastic. Okay, progress is made. Okay, so now I just need to pull off. Now I just need to pull this off. Which is run down and jump, isn't it? No! <laughs> oh dear. Get crushed. Hmm. Alright, so do that, do that. Open it up. seems a bit that whole mechanic thing there kind of seems a bit weird to me oh I don't quite fully understand how it works it just works I'm not gonna argue it's this strat here that like jumping onto here which is like the trickiest trickiest bit because you've got to jump to the right and then straight away jump, jump to the left with, so to avoid getting crushed. Oh man, I, I hit that. Really? The game is very ruthless, Boston. Very ruthless indeed. More positive news though, I managed to finish, I finally managed to finish off uh, Infinifactory on, what was it, Thursday I think? I just finally finished the main campaign after 58 hours of torture. <laughs> uh, I say torture, I really enjoyed the game, but, to be honest, um, but towards the end it was such a grind, such a grind. All right. Shut that out. Run across here. Up to here. Oh, I'm not getting the jump. The jump, man. But then saying that, I played some... Um, I said that the main campaign was a grind. I played some community chambers last night because some people had requested or asked me if I would play some. My goodness. They were whole. They were something else. Alright. We 
did it, boys. We did it. Whew. Success! I know what you meant. <laughs> um, what a read shame. this data it's part. written in a language I don't understand. Oh, not everything. Look at all these data pads. I can activate the recording so we can learn something about the ancient civilization. Help. I'm trapped in a video game factory. This is the only way I can communicate with others. We work here in terrible conditions and we are fed bre only bread and water. Please, if you read this, contact me. This is funny, really. How could he be inside a video game? <laughs> Seriously? What a load of rubbish. Voice of the people. News from the stock market shows us the fall of prices of beans, peas, lentils and other pulses. In contrast, the value of toilet paper grew tremendously. This causes huge problems for the end users who suffer from the shortage of mentioned commodity at the toilet and public la public latrines. latrines. Oh, no, my, I know. I'm not very good at reading. Uh, a new mobile phone operator entered the market. They offered crappy service for high price. This proven business model worked out pretty well. And in just a few days, thousands of customers switched from their old their other providers, which offer even higher prices with even crappier service. Market analysis predict even bigger rise of the prices and even crappier service of those providers in order to get the customers back. Weather. There's going to be an acid rainstorm tomorrow. Don't leave your house without protective clothing. Temperatures will range from minus 35 degrees in the south of the city to 86 degrees in the underground slums. Biofocast expects the radiation of level 86 microsieverts, which is pretty mild. This is boring. This civilization looks too much like humans. Shame. It looked promising. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you, but you've got to understand. I thought we'd find higher intelligence. I'm still in the lead. <laughs> there's a there's an element of quite um, comedic writing, I think, about this story. All right, let's see what Razor Sharp really has for us. Oh. Don't be afraid. I can manipulate you faster than light. Watch out! It's a bit too late for that. Um. Okay. So we got down here. And I can't do anything there. I can jump up to here though. I have a terrible feeling though, I'm not gonna be able to jump over to there to get that one. We'll try. Yep. Oh it's water. Okay, interesting. I'm not sure I was expecting that to be water, if I'm completely honest. And, of course, there's freaking sharp things to kill me. Just to add insult to injury. Ooh. Man, I totally looked out that first time I did that. Jeez. I didn't realise there was so much... Um... Where did I get on there before? There we go. Okay, so. That's one. And we're gonna get three. That's brutal, man. And by brutal, I'm referring to this one here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we know how to get that one at least. I guess I can't stand in between them. It's a bit harsh. Oh yes. I've been watching. I have you. Uh, you've probably heard of it. A game called Celeste recently. I've been watching a dude speedrun that, and oh my god, the stat is that game is just amazing. It's like a 40 hour game, but you can speedrun it like with precision jumps in about 40 minutes, less than 40 minutes, but it's insane. 
Oh, I caught the ledge. It should have slowed down. Why am I not catching that ledge? Oh, actually, you know what? Nah, that's not going to work, is it? Let's be frank about it. Yeah, um, I mean, my my PB for Portal 2... I mean, well, Portal 1, I think you can actually... The, the best players can speedrun that in, like, a matter of 15 minutes. Because of um, there's various glitches and things that allow you to get um, out of bounds and stuff. Um, Portal 2, which I'm... I've gone back to learning to speedrun again. Oh, shit. As the title suggests. Um, I think my PB is about two hours at the minute, but... I'm hoping to like bring that right down in the near future. Thank you. Okay. Right, but that's not the way through, is it? Ooh, okay. Exactly, yeah. It's just about learning the maps as well. Okay, so that's that one. That's that one. So how do I get the last one? Um, I have a horrible feeling about this last one. Oh, if I've only grabbed onto the edge, but if I grab onto the edge, I don't know, that might be it. I almost want to like jump, but time my jump so I grab the ledge, slide down the wall while these are closed, let go to finish off my jump before what then when they open. I don't know, does that seem far fetched? too far. Jeez. Alright, bring it home, Lock. Bring it home. Bring it home. One jump for victory. Yes! I caught the ledge. Success! Whew! Things are looking up. I dedicate this book to all the boys, guys, and men 
and we're still located in the nine hells of friend zone and don't know how to escape it. This valuable handbook is addressed to every member of the male sex who is worried by unhappy love. We all know it. We all know it. It probably happened to everyone. It took you weeks, months, maybe even years to finally tell these words to the woman of your heart. I love you. Do you love me? And in that moment full of nervousness, you fear and fear, you get hit with a cruel response. I like you as a friend, brother, cousin, stuffed to him much as moles <laughs> like concrete. And that's when you fell into something I personally call nine hells of friend zones. You are her friend, nothing more, and that must suffice. But do not worry. Cheer up. It's all over. I was also in this pit of hopelessness when the sun does not sing and the birds do not shine. Well, I've got out of there. The girl I desired finally got to know the inner me, fell in love with me, and I've been happily married to her for the past three years. And in this book, you can find a guide how to do it. Chapter one, how I escaped the friend zone. I don't know. I simply don't know. The end. <laughs> Very informative. Indeed. Indeed. All right, laser playground. We won't get out of here without using the EMP. Sticky situation. I'll be watching. Begin. Okay. All right, so I must be able to target these somehow. So I've got to do this first. Okay. And then I think I've got to run underneath. Oh, I gotta let go. That's where I'm okay, that, that makes sense. So that makes sense then. Get under, get under. So I've got to, I've got to EMP this, and then I've got to run underneath like that. Then jump up here. Then time my jump perfect perfectly. Jeez. All right. Then I got to time my jump perfectly. out how to get two, didn't we? Interesting. Then I think. Oh man, I can't get back past there now, can I? I can. I can flip gravity again. So then I think what I got to do. Okay. stuck on that ledge. If I can just get around that ledge. Oh, 
did it again. He climbs up here and then he grabbing this ledge. I don't want him to grab the ledge. I think I need to EMP both. Oh, fish sticks. might be able to just make it if I can get this strategy down on this section here To do that, I've got to go back here to then turn the laser off again. I mean, would it be would it suffice just to turn the laser off though? So if I did that, I would need to also hit this. Oh yeah, I'm not going to clear that in time, so it's not the right thing to do. It's got to be. Gotta be this. It doesn't seem like you can hit it. It doesn't seem like you can hit it upside down, which is the issue. I can hit it upside down. Oh well, that kind of changed everything. Kinda. Then where do I go? No. So I've got to do the laser first. Okay. Wait, this is going to be... For the, for the risk of running one of those, that's what she said moments. Ah, sugar. Oh, you penis. <laughs> I keep messing this jump up here. So now I'm just going to do this one again. We got it, boys. What's going on, Hocus? Welcome along. Happy lurking.
Right, so we started off... We started off pretty badly, actually. But since then, we've actually done, like, perfect three levels. So... I wonder if I can do anything else now that I've, like, properly learned how to use the EMP. Massively indeed. Okay. So I can disable that one. That's fine. We done the, we learned the thing. Oh, yeah, no. I know that will help me. I know exactly how that will help me. Okay, so I need to do this. I need to do this. I'm going to EMP this. There we go. That's how we get that bad boy. Then, I can do this. EMP this should buy me a bit of time. Oh no, I got to uh, I can't do that actually. I do need to do this in one foul swoop like I was doing it before, so All right. Got it. Sometimes good to go back and learn new techniques and new strategies before you then um, try and complete things. So that was good. All right, so let's see if we can make it Five out of five. Watch out! A laser! This kind of a laser is dangerous. I will protect you, but try to avoid its beams. Okay, so for this one. Doesn't seem like this one. Doesn't seem like I can disable the laser beams. So, I think we should probably leave that one. Um, no, I've got... It can do, but I've got it to set to turn off commands, actually. Uh, so, anything that is prefixed with the exclamation mark won't show up on the on-screen chat. Mission impossible. Oh no, so many lasers! We can't get through this! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Uh -huh. So, it's to come across. I can duck under it first, then jump on top. Okay. Oh man, okay, so... 
Down here, down here. Jump on top, grab the edge. Great job. That works too, I guess. <laughs> uh, okay. How do I get back? see to get back I'll grab on the side ledge you donut so I'm gonna jump over grab on the side ledge first I think then jump down here with this one. So. Are you kidding? I don't, know what, I don't know what it wants me to do. It wants me to flip it 90 degrees to the right. And then ride up on the end of the block for it changing from side to side. Man. Alright, well. If the block ever comes back, I'll certainly give it a good go. Yeah, it wants me to do it this way. So, I'm going to want to be on this side, then this side, then this side. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. I feel rage incoming. <laughs> I can see it now. wasn't actually too bad. And then I get this. Then I go back down here to this side. Ooh, I thought I'd, I thought I'd over, I thought I'd blown it there actually. I thought I'd actually. Um, I thought I was going off the edge. Sweet! Another perfect level. Electric bath. You see that huge bath of electricity? Mm hmm. That's all you're going to say? Is it temporary? Permanent? So, oh, I think I this is one of the demo levels. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is very reminiscent of one of the demo levels. I've got to find a way... Yeah, I think I need to flip it and then walk through. Oh, wait, that's connected to that. So... seem like I can like doesn't seem like I can do that I swear down, I just freaking hit that surface. I'm sure that's what I need to do. I need to flip it. be like inches away. Alright, it's not. So what else can I do? What else have we got to play with here?
that works. Whoa! Oh, come on. All right, well. I think we worked it out, at least. How am I going to get that one? Um, I think... Oh, what dumbass. What dumbass! Oh, I can't believe I just did that. Alright, we got this now. I feel so stupid right now. Oh, I touched the laser! I didn't go for that one first before, but hang on. Oh, I hear it. Success. Maybe. If I can keep my cool. Um. No, I ain't crash myself! <laughs> Damn. Damn, son. I was just too focused on like worrying about my escape route from there. Oh, jeez. There we go. Coffee time! Uh, what have we got here? and replay the memory. So I can't actually get rid of all of these. Interesting. Interesting.
get that, am I? Let's be perfectly honest. Where's this taking me? Oh, it's to a warp location. Okay, well, that was potentially a mistake. Because I didn't want to do that. But I think I found last time out that when I played this last time, I can teleport. I'm just halfway through on open levels as well. Uh, there we go. Let's go to here. Oh, I don't remember it's circle. It's not X. I can only teleport to level to level. So again, I can only teleport to levels I've completed, not to levels that are open. Uh, let's leave. Exquisite taste. All right, I might do this one, poss possibly one more, and then. Um, we're going to switch up to some portal strats. Learning chapter three. Okay. Uh, I think I just got. Quite, I can't even remember what jump is. That's bad. do exactly oh okay so it turns off the laser shorts out. So why would that be useful? Why on earth would I want that? stop it from moving. Sorry, it stops it from moving. I thought that might actually prevent it from moving. So can I get to the other side of that?
that would kind of require me... I think that would require me to be... Which is not going to happen. This is like something different. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 of course, okay. I see what I need to do. I need to hustle. Okay, so, I think I need to rotate it back. Clever. So, any ideas on the last one? I'm actually going to save that there for now. The others are pre the other, the other ones are easy to get. So I just want to work on this last one. See, that's the problem. The minute I move off there, the laser starts again. Can't EMP the laser. Uh, well, you mean the EMP, Boston? Um, This is interesting.
Didn't really seem to do anything, did it? What did that do, actually? That's a damn good question. Do the crystals have anything to do with it? Do the crystals run out of power at all, I wonder? Seem like it, does it? There's just to me, it seems like I need to disable like this generator up here. But I don't see any way to it. through. That's bugging me now, though. How do you do it? There's no way that I can... I can't get up there on this rotation.
The fact that that can be... I think I tried it already though. Oh, wait a minute. Now that didn't happen before. I swear down. I really hope this isn't the solution. That's the solution. That is like... If you mess that up on the return, that's just so unforgiving. That is pixel perfect positioning and timing. this one out and then we will nightmares for the rest of your life. It's just a game. Woo! Alright, now. Don't fudge the rest of it, Knock. Come on. <laughs> no! Alright, so now we have to do this one. So I need to go back. Eventually, persistence pays off. Yeah, that um, that timing was redonks. 
<laughs> Show me those knockies. <laughs> Man, that, yeah, that timing was ridiculous to get that one in the top corner. That was ridiculous. All right, let's... Um, beginner's look, though. It is a punishing game. I made the EMP gloves myself. When I passed the testing lab, I was so happy I spent the whole night playing with cables and energy generators. Ta-da! And these gloves were the result. Be really careful with it. I just have this one and the one you have. Well, I wonder what happens when you press this button. Oh, damn. What just happened? I know this. It's like that TV show. Don't be paranoid. <laughs> Which TV show? Hey, since I press the button, I have to do this every 30 seconds. Look! So, I didn't press it, and nothing happened. Can you please translate these symbols for me? It says here, a button for half-wits. Half-wit count, 12. How many times have you pressed it? <laughs> 12 times. Great, you are a level 12 half-wit. Excellent. Glad you're here. I didn't want to bring this up, but can you hear it? Did you hear that? I know it sounds unbelievable, but if it's him, like him, then he can help us. He can take us home. Who's him? Did you examine all the data pads all around? The stories are insane, especially the one insanely unreadable, a legend about spilled tea. I tell you, Japanese rocks. Okay. All right, so completed eight levels tonight, and we have perfected seven of them, which is awesome. So we've got one, two, three, four left to do in this area, and then we can move on. So we will pick um, Black Hole up again next week, guys. For people on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, we'll be back real soon with another episode of Black Hole. But until then, I've been not you've been awesome. See ya.